Welcome back to Teardown. Now, we've seen the Titanic in the workshop before. However, this one is special because this one is actually drivable. So this is extremely exciting here on Teardown because it means we can go through different scenarios and even simulate what happened on that day or night, I should say. So here we go. Let's start the engines and let's go forward, shall we? Look at that. Wow, it's that's incredible. It's so realistic because if you actually look at the top, I actually forget the name of the pipes. What are they called again? Smokestacks? The last one was actually only for show. And as you can tell by the smoke, that's the case with this thing too. Um, also right in front of us is actually an iceberg. So let's just see what happens if we do this in teardown and, you know, just see the outcome. Of course, it's not going to be super realistic, but wait, look at the damage though. That kind of does look pretty realistic. We're tipping to one side though, which is a little worrying. Whoa, that's so much damage. No way. Are we, are we actually sinking? We're still going. Okay, we are, we're okay. We've had a crazy amount of damage done, but we are still on the water. So this is actually really nicely detailed as well. I can't believe we can actually drive this thing. Wait, check it out. I can actually jump to the iceberg. So of course, because it is tear down, we can just experiment with a bunch of different modded weapons and tools. So this is another new mod. This is the magnetizer version two. Um, I've never used it before though. So I have no idea how it works. Oh, okay, there we go. Whoa, deselect. Whoa, that's insane. And this thing has different sayings as well, all of which I don't really fully understand what they do. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on? Whoa, look at this. Magnet modes. Uh, let's go number two. Oh, is this the magnet power? This UI looks amazing. Let's go all the way. Okay, things are starting to lag. That might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Uh-oh, wait, hang on a minute. For a second there, I thought the Titanic was actually sinking. Also, I have just had an incredible idea. We are going to need a new Titanic, though. So since it is, of course, a vehicle, that should mean we can use the hack vehicle tool. So let's see what happens. It should have a mind of its own. Yeah, look at that. The lights have come on. I have just gone ahead and hacked the Titanic. That is not something that I thought I would say. So I've switched to a uh, small iceberg here. I'm going to go ahead and hack it again. Yeah, look at that. Lights on and it's moving by itself. Now, usually when you use this tool, all the vehicles try and hunt you down. But the Titanic might be a little bit too large. It looks like it doesn't actually fully understand where I am. You know, should we swim to it? The water's a little cold, but I'll be all right. It's definitely moving on its own. It's like it just keeps powering down. <laughs> I don't think the hack vehicle is actually fully working with this thing. Oh, it's back on again. What is it doing? That's so weird. So the next thing that I'm going to try is the hungry slimes, aka realistic nanites. There we go. So it's just going to eat away at the ship and we'll see how long it takes for it to sink. Whoa, it's laggy. Look at it go. Whoa, hang on a minute. I think, yeah, the front of the ship has literally just come off. So I think that's going to sink now. Yeah, look. Bye, have a great time. Let's go try this side. Yes, look at that. Whoa, that is happening so fast. The hungry slimes do not mess about. Oh, no. Whoa, I'm falling. Hey, at least we get to see the interior. Although, by the looks of it, with this mod, there's not a crazy amount to see. Whoa. Well, I think it's fair to say um, the Titanic is officially sinking. So that is what happens when you use nanites. All right, we're going to need a new ship. I've had another crazy idea. What if we use the evil object device on it? Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. Oh, here we go. Ah, so essentially what this does is it turns it evil and it will just hunt me down. Have I just been eaten? I have. Oh no. Don't worry, I'm back on the iceberg. So as you can see, no matter where I am, the Titanic will follow and try to kill me. Luckily, I do have some weapons though. Although if I'm being honest, the M4A1 is a terrible choice. That's not going to do anything, but this might. Here we go. Very sorry, but it has to be done. I need to undo the evil object device. It's getting very close. Come on, keep firing. Keep firing. It's actually kind of scary seeing it come towards me like this. Oh, wait, did I get it? Hang on a minute. I really thought a piece came off, but it looks like it didn't. So let's just keep shooting. Oh, no. Stay back. Ah, not good. Let's go for something just a little bit more powerful, shall we? And then this way, I might just be able to lock into the evil object device itself. I'm pretty sure that is how you stop it, right? You just destroy that button thing you placed. But I don't know where I placed it. Was it? I'm pretty sure I have destroyed it, though. Okay, I'm flying around. Look at this thing. Yeah, I have no idea where it is. Wait, is it going under? 
think it actually might. Pieces are falling off all over the place. Right, heading down to do some more damage. Okay, here we go. And impact. Oh, wait, it's taking me under. No, it got me. No way. But it's not over yet. The Titanic somehow is still after me. So I'm going to try and turn it into gold. Wow, that actually worked. We've done it. That's all I needed to do was just turn it into gold like that. All right, we're saved. Now, this time, I'm actually trying to survive from a shark. So, as you can see, it's to the side of the ship right now. And, um, yeah, I need to speed things up. Oh, no. Stay back. Why are the lights going all weird? Is the shark doing any damage? Oh, I think it is. Quick turn. How has it done so much damage already? Look at that. There's a massive hole in the side of the Titanic. All from that evil shark down there. Well, I mean, at least we avoided the iceberg over there. So this is what it's like in first person. I mean, the detail of the ship, I know it's a little bit smaller in scale, but it is still very, very nice. The shark is chewing through the ship. No, are you kidding? Wait, what happens if I get out? I, I don't know where it is right now. All right, you know what? Let me become captain again and let's get out of here. No, the shark is in the Titanic. Wait, are we sinking? No. Please tell me we're not sinking just from one single shark. Quick to the front of the ship. Are we safe here? I can hear the shark, but I don't see it. So I'm guessing it's still inside somewhere. Maybe it can't get through. Can I squeeze through? Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. I went through this tiny door and there it is. <laughs> Look at that. I see its teeth. Oh my goodness. Ah, run. Oh no, it's thrown me into the water. Oh, this has gone really scary. Swim to the iceberg. Hurry, hurry before the shark gets to me. Come on, swim faster. Almost there, come on. Oh, the shark's right behind me. No, 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 please, please, no, no. Yes, saved by the iceberg. Ha ha, sucker. You can't get me up here, you're a shark. You're a sea monster. Uh, stay back. Yeah. I'll knock his teeth out. Oh, now you're screwed. I've got my titanium gauntlets. Oh, wait, the iceberg's moving. No, it's moving. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, I got me. I'm down. So are you telling me that the titanium gauntlets are not powerful enough to take this guy down? I mean, it looks like that might be the case, to be honest. Not good, not good, not good, not good. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Stay back, stay back. Ah, oh, I'm dead again, great. So now with the shark gone and a brand new Titanic, I'm gonna do something that is classic to tear down. It's something we've probably all seen before, but I wanna try it on the drivable one. So I've got the katana right here and I'm gonna try and slice it in half. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay. Whoa, there we go. Oh, look at that. A piece of it has come off. Oh, is that going to go down? That is so much fire. I'll try and slice this section over here this time and just see what happens. There we go. That might need another slice. Not sure if it's going to go through the whole thing. Oh, it did. There we go. Oh, the entire thing is sinking. I've done it with a couple of slices and it's going down. There it goes. I mean, you know, this is teardown. This is just what's going to happen. It's a destructive game. And, you know, you just got to experiment with different ways on destroying these mods. But that was very, very effective. Now, you might be wondering, where are all my pets? Well, um, here they are. This right here, of course, is Beans. We've got Toasty. And finally, Maxwell the cat. Oh, and also we're joined by Bloop. Bloop, are you hungry? If so, I will feed you this ragdoll right here, okay? Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. Nope. Uh, sort of missed. Sorry about that. You know what? Maybe you might enjoy my cat some more. There you go. Oh, yeah. Maxwell's explosive, by the way. Don't worry. Maxwell will be fine, even though we just saw them explode. You know, it would be a real shame if Bloop decided to eat the Titanic, right? A real shame. Let me just give you a help. Whoa. Ah. Hold on, robots. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, a lot of damage is going to be done. So we just got to assist Bloop out a little bit in eating the ship. I guess this is like a what if scenario. I've lost my robots, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, the stairs. Look at this. This actually says, so there is a little bit of an interior. Whoa, look at this. This is cool. Nice. I like the fact there is a little bit of detail inside as well. Oh, it, it keeps going. I do have to crouch the entire time. So the stairs are going lower. Okay, and then this is where the detail kind of comes to an end. Bloop. Oh, no. Ah, that's not how you eat things. Stop rolling all over the Titanic. So, slight issue. Bloop is above us. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. So much damage. Now, this right here is dark bloop. So, this version of bloop is um, a lot larger. So, let's just see what happens with this guy, shall we? <laughs> just throw him at the Titanic. You know what? Let's try and get him to eat it, shall we? All right, here we go. 
bring him in. Uh, what is happening? Oh, I don't know how we haven't sunk yet, to be honest. Wait, can we still drive this? We can. That didn't sound too good, though. Uh, okay, well, goodbye, Dark Bloop. And hello, regular Bloop. Uh, oh, no. Damage. Wait, I think it might be sinking. Is it going down? I mean, it's very close to going down. Very close. Okay, I'm back on. Also, look at all the debris in the water. Um, I think we're sinking. There is a lot of water. Oh, we are sinking. We're going down. Quick, get to the other end of the ship. Hurry. We good? Oh, no. The water's still coming. No. Bloop has officially sunk the ship. We are going down. Look at that. No. There it goes. We're currently swimming. Quite slowly, though. Goodbye, Titanic. Wait, what is that noise? Oh, no. Shark. Not you again. No. Oh, I'm dead. Make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.